here we are today with another maquillage and musings video. I feel like my hair is weird today. I guess I will just start this video with talking about my hair. It's very like not, I just washed it and styled it and it's literally like not holding a style very well. But we'll see how it goes, I guess, as the day wears on. Also the light is going in and out, obviously. Further, I knew I wanted to do this video today, but I have, I have like a hive. It's like a small hive under my eye, but it's kind of gone down a little bit. And my skin is like weird. Anyway, I'm all over the place in getting into this video and my lips are chapped. So, we have a lot of ground to cover today. The main reason that I wanted to do this, in addition to just doing a get ready with me video and doing my makeup and blabbering about my life, is that I have a couple of key products to show and tell you about, and these are the three. I have one of the By Terry Rouge Expert Click Sticks in the shade Orchid Alert. First of all, I had been wanting to try this for months now. Two YouTubers that I watch, a little bit etc and TT Sandra um, had both raved about this and so I have been aware of Octoly as a website for YouTube content producers who you can basically get free products from them if you review the products on your channel. For any of you that make YouTube videos, go browse, set up an account and browse the products. I think you have to have a threshold of a thousand YouTube followers or like 10,000 or something on Instagram. I'm not sure. I can't remember the Instagram threshold, which by the way, I, I don't know. I guess I just find the like ROI metrics in terms of followers in social media so annoying. Maybe I'll, that'll be like a rant as part of this video. Anyway, I always like just start going totally on rambling tangents. You apply to get a free product through Octoly. They either approve or don't approve, send you the product and you have 21 days to review it or talk about it. And so my By Terry Rouge Expert Click Stick was approved. They had four colors to pick from. I went for Orchid Alert. I haven't even opened it, so I wanna do like a first impression with this as my lip product as part of this makeup look. I also applied for a Charlotte Tilbury, like it was like a duo of one of the mascaras and an eye pencil, and I was denied. And then I was like, fine, I'm done buying Charlotte Tilbury products. <laughs> But anyway, thank you to Octoly and by Terry for sending me this, and I'm going to give my honest first impression of it. The other thing that I wanna show you that I've really been liking is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I picked up a sample of this from Sephora when I was returning something a couple of weeks ago. I got two colors. I found a match that's really good for me, and I've really been liking it. Several of you have actually talked about how much you liked it and recommended it, so I'm going to use that. This is the Tardist Pro Lash Adhesive. If you watch my Instagram stories I had showed it there but I tried it because I wore false lashes I went out clubbing if you can believe it it's been so long since I've been out in that environment but I went out over Thanksgiving weekend and I put on some fake lashes I thought that this sucked basically and I was going to return it and then I was like why don't you try it one more time on camera so I'm gonna do false lashes as part of this makeup look and test out this product one more time so those are the three main priorities. I'm basically just gonna do a, I don't know, kind of like a classic Mercedes going out look. I'm gonna show you my new Surat Beauty Autographique eyeliner, do like a really dramatic winged eye with this, false, false lashes, the new lip. So let's just get into it and start chatting. I'm gonna prep my skin first with the Vapor Organic Beauty Stratus Soft Focus Skin Perfector in 904. This is the one from the Beauty Heroes Elective Makeup Box, which I think is still available, probably through the holidays, I guess, as long as they have them. I do about that much. Okay, so my deal with, oh, that might not be enough. My skin's really dry this morning for some reason. Okay, so my deal with my skin is that it's Friday, I'm working from home, I took a shower this morning, I'm doing my makeup for this video, but then I'm gonna take it off because I'm going to a Celtics game tonight. I'm not gonna wear like a ton of makeup and false lashes to a Celtics game. So because of that, I don't need to wear sunscreen because I don't think I'm gonna be going outside until tonight. I haven't decided yet. So that means I can just go in with the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I am going to apply it with a damp beauty blender 
and that's my favorite way to apply really like all base products but particular anything that's like a real kind of like foundation so i have this in the shade rg20 i think and I also had gotten the shade G15. Oh, they have names too. So this is Euphoric, which just got dark. And then I also have the shade Cosmic, which is too light. So I'm just going to dab this on like so. And I really just concentrate it like in the center of my face. And I can't even tell you how nice it is to have a new beauty blender in my life. It made me realize how insanely old and crappy and non-functional my old one was. Like I should have replaced it years before I did. I think they should probably be replaced annually, minimum, for them to be kind of like functioning at their best. So I have been liking this foundation because it's not really very foundation-y. It's more like tinted moisturizer light coverage but i feel like it's quite good for covering up redness i can't attest to it applied with a brush as i said i really hate applying face liquid face products with a brush i just feel like it leaves me streaky and clinging product clinging to patches and stuff but with a beauty blender i feel like it's really nice so that's one layer of the product i think it does a really nice job evening out i have some really intense uh, circles going on under my eyes. I haven't been like sleeping that well this week. It was a really, really busy week at work. I had early meetings and just like a lot of after work commitments too. And next week is also really busy. So yeah, I can kind of see it in my skin to be honest. I'm gonna use some of the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift under my eyes to sort of correct and brighten. Okay, so I'm always like, what do I sit here and talk about? <laughs> I like blank. Uh, oh, a couple of random things. You can see the candle burning in the background is one of my new PF Candle Co. candles. In the scent Spruce, I ordered two of them during like Black Friday. I got Spruce and Frankincense and Ode, which I haven't burned yet. So I have to say, I like PF Candle Company candles because I think the scent throw is really pretty significant, but the scent of the spruce one is not as intense as I would have liked, and I don't know if that's... I know that some scents and candles can be harder to produce and make the scent throw. I basically wanted my apartment to smell like a Christmas tree, and it doesn't, and so I'm like kind of disappointed. And I also feel like it's burning a little bit faster than the last one or the last couple ones that I've had so I don't really know okay now my favorite technique for setting under my eyes that I haven't deviated from is beauty blender in RMS translucent powder kind of like baked on if you will the beauty blender is damp and I just kind of pack it under my eye and let it hang out there while I do my brows and stuff and I really like it. I even put some like directly on my lids Let's do brows. Of course, it is Anastasia Brow Definer in medium brown and Glossier Boy Brow in brown. So good. I need to change my nail polish. I have now I am now like kind of sick of this color or like having red or burgundy on my nails. I think I'm going to do something like fun and very holiday next, like my LVX Narcissist polish. It's sort of like a teal metallic. I need to trim my brows. Do you, do you guys do that? I don't get my brows done. Also, this is like kind of random. So I've been really fortunate so far, I think because my channel is still relatively small, that I don't get a lot of like negative comments. You know, like the crazies haven't found me yet, thank God. But I did once get like a mean comment about my eyebrows. <laughs> I just think people that leave mean comments on YouTube videos are just kind of like miserable people. Where was I going with this? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have like the best brows. I kind of like do what I can with them. The reason I brought that up though is because I was like, I need to trim them. So I don't know if you guys do this, but I will brush them up and trim the tops and then they lay much better and I'm able to fill them in much faster, but they've been growing so fast. Like I literally just did it two weeks ago and now it's like time to trim them again. 
Similarly, like the hair on my head has been growing fast. The hair on my body has been growing really fast. I'm just like WTF. I guess it's a good thing. I mean, it's a sign of like health. So I guess no complaints, but it's just like, I've been so busy and kind of stressed that like my apartment was like kind of a sty before I sat down to film and I'm like behind. I haven't been to the gym this week. Oh, speaking of the gym, discovered a new YouTuber because she got a shout out on Nikki Blackadder's channel and Jasmine Garcia mentioned her too, Whitney Simmons. I don't know if you guys watch her, but I really, I really like her. It's hard for me to find people on YouTube that I can stand watching because everybody is just so damn fake. <laughs> but Whitney Simmons, she's like one of these like, you know, fitness girls. She has a fitness channel, but she's funny and down to earth, super in shape and her workouts are insane. I did one of her shoulder workouts last weekend and I don't work upper body a lot but I was like huffing and puffing through that workout super sore definitely did not eat enough afterwards so for any of you that work out if you have an intense lifting session and you don't eat enough afterwards you will feel wiped out for the rest of the day and that was me after I did Whitney Simmons shoulder workout Before I got my life together to sit down and film this video this morning I caught up on some of my Bravo this morning and I watched the season finale of I'm just wiping away the excess translucent powder um, season finale of Below Deck I loved this season I thought it was really good I just liked who they cast and I liked the romance between Ben and Emily and I really 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 liked Kyle the guy from Northern England I think he's from Manchester oh my god he was so just like authentic and real and I really liked him <laughs> as a person so I hope they do a reunion a below deck reunion because this was this was a good season one of the guys Kelly He's like the head bosun on the show. It totally reminds me of one of my exes. And it's funny to see that and see how far you've come. You're like, oh, I'm not into that type anymore. I guess I'll do my eyes before I do my face. So I'm gonna do a kind of like a pared down version of the eye that I did that night that I uh, went out clubbing. It's not really clubbing. I went out to go hear a DJ at a club, basically. I'm not, I don't really like go clubbing. I'm just gonna take some of these single pan shadows in my Z palette, which is like so beat up and gross. So uh, I don't even know the names of these. I'm gonna take this sort of like, oh, I think this is Mac Hoax, Hox, Hoax. I really don't remember. It's kind of like a light mauve and then this light gray is from the Jane Iredale Daytime Smoky. I'm just gonna kind of take those all over the lid. This is the Wayne Goss number three beautiful brush. And I have to say I really like having just a little bit of translucent powder sort of baked onto the lid. It just I don't know, it really helps with creasing and longevity of shadows, and I'm not a big eyeshadow wearer at all, but it's nice. Then I'm gonna just intensify a little bit on like the crease and outer half with the brown shadow, which is also from the Jane Iredale, which are obviously depotted into here, if that like wasn't clear. Next week, as I think I mentioned, is going to be similarly busy, but I'm really looking forward to a couple of things. I'm going to see Thievery Corporation live on Tuesday at the House of Blues. I don't know, actually, that I think will have already happened. This is gonna be my Wednesday or Thursday video, so by the time you're seeing this, I will have just seen Thievery Corporation. I'm so excited, I've loved them for like a decade and I've never seen them live, so really excited. And then I'm going to a cocktail party at the Four Seasons later next week. Oh, I think I'm getting a massage on Monday. It's gonna be a good week. And then I'm getting acupuncture next Friday. All right, I'm really just kind of like going to town a little bit too much with these shadows. Let me blend a little bit. I'm just kind of like mindlessly sitting here putting on more shadow and talking. Now time for one of the stars of the show, the Surat. I feel like the lighting looks funny in here. 
It's because I have like that shade part way down. Anyway, the Surat Autographique Eyeliner. I'm gonna do my best to have this. Aww, just got a nice text. So I'm like all distracted now. Surat Autographique. I'm going to do a dramatic winged line with this now and show you just how effortless it is. But I can't talk during it, so cue music. I feel like that would have taken me literally two to three times as long to do with the Zuzu Lux eyeliner. So it's just, I feel able to go really, really quick and it's just a total pleasure to use. I'm obsessed with it. So I basically kind of just never want to be without this product in my life. I think I'm actually going to buy a backup of the ink cartridge, the, the refillable ink cartridge for this. While the eyeliner sets, even though it doesn't really need to, I just kind of like to let it set, I'm going to uh, just do a couple of other touches to my face. I don't want to overdo my face because my eyes are going to be boom and my lips are going to be bold. So I'm just going to give a tiny bit of color and structure with the Well People Bio Bronzer Stick. I like this product because I feel like it gives me just a little bit of color that's not too warm, doesn't turn too red or pink on me as most blush tends to do and a lot of bronzers tend to do too. And then I think the only other thing I want to do to my face, now I'm kind of undecided. I pulled out the Kayer Weiss highlighter in Radiance to put on just because this is a really nice going out highlighter. It also shows up really nicely on camera, but I have also really been enjoying the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. It's more subtle than the Kayer Weiss. The only issue with this is I can smell it on my skin. I wish it wasn't so perfumed, but I think I am gonna use this. I don't know, I just feel like it. I realize I've not been doing a good job of like holding stuff up to show. I don't even think that just focused. Quick eyelash curl with the Surat Releve. I don't like to over curl if I'm going to be putting false lashes on, just a little lift. Tight line, upper waterline, and then I'm going to do a little bit of work on my lower waterline and lash line as well. Sorry, this is the, I'm really distracted today. This is the Antonym Eye Pencil in Noir. I'm trying to think of what else I had in mind to chat about today. I felt like I had a whole laundry list. Okay, just a light coating of mascara. I don't even, because the false lashes are going on, I'm not gonna like waste, you know, a bunch of mascara on my lashes. I'm gonna use the Red Apple Lipstick uh, Lash Conditioning Lash Project Mascara. I, oh, I guess we'll be honest and say, this is not my favorite. I just don't think that it's, it's not dramatic enough for me. For some people, they've said they find it really buildable and nice. 
props. It just, I don't know. I think it's better for people with like sensitive lashes or lash lines and they need like a really like hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic mascara. That's never really been an issue for me. Oh, I have a question. I need new glasses. And I just went to my, like where I get my eye exam done. I'll put a little of this on the lower lash line too. And I feel like I really want like a big, chunky, oversized frame, but I don't really know if I can pull it off. I mean, I think basically my question is, do you have like a favorite glasses brand or website or should I do Warby Parker or like, what should I do? I just, <clears throat> I tried a bunch of frames on at the doctor's office shop and um, I don't know. I just, I didn't really like the optician that was there. She wasn't very helpful. I need glasses help if you have any tips. Okay, so I'm gonna now throw on these Eyelure Dimensional Lashes. These I have worn once. I tend to reuse them probably four or five times, false lashes, but God, man, the lighting. I feel like it's just better, right? I mean, it's a little darker, but I think I took like the funny glare off my face. Man, I should have done that a long time ago in this video. Okay, so now we're gonna put the lash glue on the lash. I think the issue that I had when I first tried it, so it comes like this, little like paintbrush. I really was attracted to the applicator. The thing that I found is that it like normally in my experience, so it paints on black. It doesn't really, it didn't need any time to get tacky. And so it was just like a hot mess when I tried to use it last time. I'm hoping that it's not a hot mess now as I try and use it on camera, let's see. I'm not gonna let it get tacky. I'm just gonna try and throw it on. This is already not going well. Yeah, it like, it doesn't stick very well. I feel like the corners are popping up. I'm gonna have to fix it with eyeliner because it looks like whack right now. I hate this stuff. I think I'm definitely gonna return it. I don't know what it is. I love the applicator, but the formula just kind of sucks. I mean, this formula I think is latex and formaldehyde free. So this was less of a disaster than the last time I used it, but I still think that this lash glue sucks and I don't like it and I'm going to be returning it. And wow, do my eyes feel heavy. Okay, now we can move on to my favorite part of any look, which is the lip. I'm very excited to do a first impression of this product. Now, this is how this looks, and you just click it up from the bottom. I'll swatch this first. This is such a Mercedes color. Uh, wow. It looks pretty cool, actually. Cool toned. Let's see how this goes. I'm kind of nervous. I kind of have butterflies. The color's really pretty. It looks like quince. Oh, it has a kind of funky smell. Uh, feels like silk on the lips going on. The contour of the tip makes it really easy to apply. Like I'm not doing any lip liner, obviously. That's probably the smoothest gliding formula I've ever put on my lips. To the chemist or formulator that developed this, I commend you. <laughs> Very impressive. It feels really like lightweight, but it's so pigmented. 
It uh, it smells like my Dior Christian Dior lipstick, so it has like old lady lipstick smell. So this is the by Terry Rouge Expert Click Stick in Orchid Alert. Do we like? Man, I'm not used to seeing myself in like so much makeup, like such dramatic eyes. <laughs> um, I used to like rock this look all the time, like on a Thursday night, and now, no. First impression of this is really positive. It's a beautiful formula. You know, it's just a first impression, so I can't tell you how it's going to wear. It's really comfortable, it feels like silk application, super easy. If you're like a lip product addict the way that I am, I think that they're probably at least worth trying. The color I like, it's just not unique to other things in my collection. Quite similar to Bite Beauty Quince, also quite similar to my Rodan lipstick in Billy on the Bike. It might be a little less purple than that, but it is definitely quite pretty. Okay guys, I think that that's going to do it for this maquillage and musings video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out and listening to me ramble. I don't even remember what I talked about. I feel like I was very distracted from the, during this video. I was just like getting a bunch of texts and my mind is like in a million different places. <laughs> so I will try and list and link everything that I used down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like informal, casual, authentic, real get ready with me's, which used to be all YouTube was, and now YouTube is basically like glorified commercials. I am here to try and keep the realness alive. So thank you to all of you who watch regularly and comment, and we're all just trying to be real people. <laughs> In an age of so much fakeness and social media oversaturation, and now I'm starting to ramble, so. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.